This is a beach with a certain length and two sailors. A is the distance from the right end of the beach to the first cellar. B is the distance from the left end of the beach to the second cellar. X is the distance from a customer to the first cellar. Y is the distance from the same customer to the second cellar. So A plus X plus Y plus B equals to L, the total length. The two sellers must set the price to make the customer indifference. That is, price plus commuting cost is identical. For example, if L equal to 16, A equal to 4, but B equal to 0, to keep only the A customers, x equals to 0, so y equals to 16 minus 4, or 12. If c equals to 1, p2 equals to 20, then p1 equals to 20 plus 12, or 32. That is the maximum price for seller 1. To attract at least one x customer, y equal to 16 minus 4 minus 1, or 11. Then p1 equal to 20 plus 11 minus 1, or 30. To attract two x customers, y equal to 16 minus 4 minus 2, or 10. Then p1 equal to 20 plus 10 minus 2, or 28. To attract 3x customers, y equal to 16 minus 4 minus 3 or 9, and p1 equal to 20 plus 9 minus 3 equal to 26. To attract all 12 customers, y equal to 0, then P1 equal to 20 minus 12, or 8. This is the lowest price seller 1 can set. The problem is, what is the best or optimal price that seller 1 can set? This is the demand faced by seller 1, given a P2. The maximum price it can set is this, when Q1 equals to A, while the lowest one is this, when Q1 equals to L minus B. In our example, the highest price is 32, and the lowest 8. From these two points, an equation for the line can be worked out. In our example, this equation is P1 minus 40, P1 equal to 40 minus 2Q1. When cost is zero, the optimal price is at the middle of the demand curve. For this example, Q1 equal to 10 and P1 equal to 20. Seller so 1's profit is 200. So the optimal price for seller 1 is 20. When Q1 10, as A equal to 4, so X equal to 6. When seller 1 has set its optimal price, will seller 2 keep the old price?